How To by John Wilson is a documentary show about human nature and interaction. Each episode poses as an instructional video, opening with a question such as how to make small talk or how to split the check, and then uses these themes to explore the strange ways in which we operate in this world and with each other through both literal and metaphoric imagery. Wilson shows us that in life, the closer you look at things, the more interesting they get. And the more you look at people, the less you believe in any ideas of normalcy you once had. Part of the beauty of John Wilson's style is that he never felt obliged to conform to the industry standards of good content. David Byrne was putting on a big performance and I was asked to make a documentary about the show. Thankfully, my professional relationships at home were disintegrating, so I had a little free time on my hands, and I said, sign me up. They invited me to a production meeting at David's office and let me listen to their production schedule. I figured this would be an excellent opportunity to network and prove I was a skilled, capable documentarian. But it already seemed like they had a documentary team shooting most of the action with much nicer equipment, so I decided to take a back seat and let them run the show. I noticed that the team was getting a few creative angles, so I thought it would be nice to take a few artistic shots of my own that maybe I could use for my reel. Surprisingly, John's Vimeos weren't taking off. That was until, by chance, he met Nathan Fielder in a restaurant in Chinatown. I think. A lot of people know Nathan as the creator of Nathan For You, but I personally think this is his masterpiece. It's called Thin Watermelon. I kind of vouch for him with HBO. We got the green light to make the show and I was like, you know, to John, I said, what do you want to do? What's your vision? And he sends me this shot of a loaf of bread. John started sending me more shots of bread. Someone like pushing a, a bunch of loaves of bread, just bread in different scenarios, and was just saying stuff like, I wanna do stuff with this bread. I was like, John, you know, this is HBO. What are we doing here? <laughs> I just kept telling him like, this is like the magic of the show. Like the fact that we can show stuff like this. This is the show. The fact that HBO took this show on is an indication of the new era to come. Wilson uses the camera as his eyes, as an extension of his body, a commitment he never breaks. It is as if the camera is permanently attached to his body and there is no option of putting it down. Even when I'm looking at you right now, I'm seeing a camera and I'm seeing you. It's really interesting. There's almost like a film even between the two. Wilson focuses his camera on human nature in an attempt to understand it. However, his constant filming of both personal life and of the public seems to create an invisible barrier between himself and the world. As if, in the act of trying to understand life by filming it, he separates himself from living in the moment with other people. Just as his constant filming distances him from people, it allows him to capture deeply personal moments. How you doing? Seemingly, the people around him accept his compulsion to film everything, and without the option of off-camera, they seem to acclimatise and even forget that he's filming. I also had a friend that died recently. He was in, like, a car accident. That's terrible. Uh, and that was really hard. Yeah, I feel your pain. Trust me. Um, Yo, is this true? Is this for real? Yeah. I'm sorry, bro. My, fr my friend just killed himself before I came here. Before you came here? Well, about 30 days before. Probably low key while I, why I am out here, you know? So do you like New York? <laughs> Wilson's desire to understand human nature 
and his commitment to capturing it on camera leaves us with a sense of consolation, knowing we are just one strange person in a sea of 7.9 billion strange people navigating this strange, strange world together. This is the first video essay that I've made, so let me know below if you liked it. If you have any other ideas for video essays, comment below and let me know what they are and I'll see if I can make them.